3000 shoes Welcome to today's vlog Gamarjoba from Batumi. This is the second biggest city in Georgia after Tbilisi. We have just stepped out. It's around 4.30 in the evening now. And our plan is to explore the city and see what's in store for us. But before we do that, we just thought we'll tell you a little bit about what's been happening. Uh, we checked in here two days ago and we were so delighted to find mm -hmm. some Indian restaurants because we've been starving over the last few days, not getting enough vegetarian food. Uh, we do like Kachapuri, but we wanted something spicy and different. So, so we ate uh, Rajma Masala, Chana Masala, Lemon Rice. And uh, Masala Dose. Oh yeah. And all of this. And then, uh, like we've been ordering in, so we got it delivered to our room. And there's also a supermarket right across the street, so we've been getting ice cream. So if you see us being a little chubby, that's the reason. Uh, right now, as Shish said, we are out and about exploring Batumi. And a few things we learned about Batumi is that it's called the Pearl of the Black Sea. Mostly because of how beautiful the architecture is and its unique location here on the southeastern side of the Black Sea. And uh, it's very popular for one more reason and that is gambling and casinos. Which also earns it the title of the Las Vegas of the Central Asia? No, the Las Vegas of the East. Oh. The Las Vegas of Eurasia. The Las Vegas of the Black Sea. Many, many names. So now we are uh, just taking a walk. We don't have any specific plan about what to see in Batomi. Our idea is to just walk around and uh, absorb a bit of the place. See what unique architecture there is and everything that's busy but here. I'm curious to see there's one monument with a boy and a girl and then when it's turned on, they merge. I'm curious to see that. So let's go. This behind us is actually called Europa Square. It's a very popular place here in the center of Batumi. And if we go here this way about 500 meters or so, that's the Black Sea Beach, the coastline right there. All the buildings here look very fancy. They are colorful. They have little gardens and the balconies. It looks very different from the rest of the city. So there's definitely a very high uh, European-esque feel here. Uh, unlike the other parts of the, the country where we saw something which was more traditional, more Georgian, this definitely feels like a very busy European uh, square and aptly named so. We see a lot of cafes here, especially KFCs and McDonald's and a lot of Volt and Bolt delivery, you know, scooters and park yeah. right in front of it. And there are these small bakeries and cafes also like holes in the walls. So and all getting... the balconies have little pots with little green plants and flowery plants in it. Overall, this seems to be more of a walking area, so even though the cars are parked, nobody is actually driving around right now. It's uh, quite beautiful. What you see behind me is a big chessboard. Like you can actually go and move the pawns to wherever you want. Look at this. Doesn't it remind you of Harry Potter where they play live chess? Also the first time we are seeing a big banana plant here in a long time. You want a banana leaf meal? And of course there are Tatas playing small regular chess there. He seems to be like the chess player. It seems like there's a hop on, hop off bus. They want to take like a city tour. So in 
Georgia, everywhere you will find these kind of small fountains, but these are actually drinking water. So you can come and fill up your water bottle and drink from it. The correct way to drink from this is like this. And we're back at the Black Sea. Another ice cream? What's going on, Shish? <laughs> it's too yummy. So one of the things we learned about the Black Sea is that the water in the upper levels and the lower levels doesn't mix at all. And that is why there's no good life under the lower areas of the sea. And most of the marine life is limited to the upper half, which is why it was so easy for us to spot the jellyfish uh, in the last video in Kobuleti. Uh, the beach here in Batumi is also very nice, very popular with visitors from everywhere. It's uh, very similar to the beach in Kobuleti. But we liked Kobuleti more because it was like quiet and very few people comparatively. But this is also quite fun. Like if you're in a big group, this is definitely more accessible and open to hang out and doesn't look and like there's a lot more cafes and ice cream stalls around and doesn't look like there's jellyfish here right <laughs> yeah people are enjoying the water a lot the black sea dumps more water out than other water bodies contribute in so uh, there's a net outflow from the black that's sea. right i think it it dumps water into the Aegean Sea and that is mainly because there are so many rivers from this mountainous Caucasus region and the Crimean Peninsula that sends so much of fresh water into the into the sea. So it's pretty cool. Now we are going to see the Ali and Nino statue. So the story behind this is actually quite interesting. Ali was a Muslim boy from Azerbaijan and uh, Nino was actually a Georgian Christian princess and uh, they fell in love with each other and during the Bolshevik revolution both of these countries are being taken over and uh, being absorbed into the Russian Empire and at that time because of the wars that were ongoing they could not meet together and come together so because of that their love story ended right there and they could never be together and this inspired many stories later on and in uh, Azerbaijan it's even till today a very very popular tale that people tell each other uh, in the celebration of humans coming together. So then at some point a Georgian artist actually made this story into a statue which I think is pretty self-explanatory. Take a look at it. So we are right now at the piazza which is like a city square here in Batumi's uh, east side and it's like a very very beautiful square built in traditional Venetian style. Uh, there are a lot of buildings around but all of them are now like restaurants and cafes and sort of the cultural hotspot here. Uh, there's also a tower from where they play the Georgian anthem every three hours apparently. Looks pretty colorful and cool. So our camera just died and we are all out of batteries. <laughs> so and we are shooting this on the phone. And but now we have to just go find a place to grab some dinner and 
That's about it. This was a very short vlog. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Batumi with us. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Subscribe. Your shoes are too big, aren't they?